you have to have precision passing to monstrous receivers. That's the only way to do it. When you look at teams that move the ball against Alabama this year, the, the best one was Ole Miss. They had over 400 yards passing. And it happened because they were able to hit vertical passes consistently. That's what Jake Browning will have to do. So as he watches this old Miss tape, what he'll see is that when there's man coverage, the man coverage was usually very close. This is the kind of play that you have to be able to complete. Well, Miss was able to do it not just once in a while, but a lot. Now, you also need to be able to fit that ball in between defenders because with Alabama, there'll be a corner close and a safety converging. Mm. So you have to be able to make this play consistently, not just once in a while. Ole Miss did it. And then you've got to have receivers that can go up and just beast the football because they will be close to you. They're not going to give you much opportunity to have open, open throws. Now, this is basically a fight for the ball. Now, who do you think is going to come up with it, right? <laughs> Who's going to come up with this ball? Let's just watch him, and, and there you go. Ole Miss got it. This is the kind of receiving play that you need in order to be able to beat Alabama because they will press you this close almost every single time. Now, the question is, can Jake Browning make those throws consistently, and can the receivers for Washington make those kinds of catches consistently? They have shown in the past that they can do it.